All right, everyone, so I got that alternator in place. Uh, the coolant uh, is filled up. Um, got the cap off only because I'm going to burp it once I get it started. Uh, of course, I went to go start it and the battery's stone dead. So I got a charger on it in the back because my regular charger, the smart charger, wouldn't charge it. So I got to stick an old conventional charger on it to get some voltage up in it because it had zero volts in it, stone dead. And it looks like a pretty new battery. So don't know why that is, but we're going to find out. Hopefully it takes a charge. If not, I'm going to have to put a battery in it too. But let me show you what I got. So here it is. You can't even see where that sucker is. Uh, you can just see the edge of it all the way down there. So it is buried. Uh, AC is recharged, so that's all good to go. Um, if you guys ever do one of these, and I learned this the hard way, this bracket is like a big C-shaped bracket that wraps around. Um, if you ever do one, once you unbolt it from underneath and unbolt it from up top, once you unbolt the radiator, you lift up the radiator and you have to slide that C-channel bracket assembly out towards the driver's side. You slide it out towards the driver's side and then it'll come up and out. Because otherwise, what happens is it winds up hitting a bumper. Because this bracket assembly has to come this way and it just it channels in too far on both top and bottom. So what happens is I lift it up on this side, I got it up just high enough and I was able to slide the thing in place. So that was, um, I don't remember doing that on the last one I did, but it's been a while. I think I may have installed that uh, on the other ones or taken it out at the same time with the radiator and condenser. I don't know, like I said, I just don't recall. So I'm gonna wait till the battery's charged up. I'm gonna let it go for like an hour and a half or so. I'm gonna take a lunch in that and let's see what happens. Sound good? All right, so I just got back from lunch. I took the vehicle off charge. Now let's see if it starts. Fuel level low. It seems to be a common theme around here. I can actually hear the alternator whining, so that tells me it's charging. And supposedly it will come up on the dashboard there saying check charging system. I'm not seeing any of that. No lights on. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, check coolant level. Yeah. I figured as much because I did have to drain the coolant out. Alright, so I just got a little Cheese Whiz uh, tester that I have here that I threw on there just to see what the charging voltage is. It's a little bit on the high side, but the battery was pretty dead and uh, I mean, it was stone dead, so I could just be compensating for that. The 15 one is technically not overcharging yet. So, coolant level down a little bit. Could be the sensor stuck too, who knows. But we're going to top off the coolant and we're going to road test it and we're going to let it go. Uh, if you're getting anything out of my videos, hit the like button. Uh, if you could, please subscribe. Uh, recommend your friends to my channel. You can share my videos if you want. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you guys are having a great day and keep wrenching.